Okay, the other day I did the video on the uh, cutting the foam. Today I was just going to show a video on some of the testing I'm doing for the etching. Might save you some time trying to work it out. I'm going to do a few different tests and see what works out best. So, yeah, I'll show a comparison. Yeah, just wanted to show that's the settings that I'm sending these tests at, but it's going to show up next to it anyway. But there it is on the controller, so you can see how it looks. They're all on feel. Yeah, you can see from the test there, really, you don't need a too high a dot per inch, but a fast speed and a low power just gives you a nice little clean etch. You start going too much, even 15 power, you can see it started to kind of melt it in there. This one's just kind of taken the top layer off. I mean, it's, you know, plenty deep enough, really, just for etching. Um, yeah, these started to get the brown around the edges, which you know, rubs off as well, so... Yeah, 600 at 10. No, I'm going to do one more 600 at 12 and 175. Or maybe actually what I'll do is just put the dots per inch up a little bit. See how that goes. See if it just gives a little bit more. Yeah, you can see on that one, just by putting the dots per inch up, you get a little bit more depth. That's still quite nice, that one, and it's actually a little bit darker than the other one. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see the other one. 600 speed, 10 power with 150 dots per inch. 600 speed with 10 power with 250 dots per inch. I'll get it zoomed in a bit so you can see. A bit more close up. Well, I'm just about getting both in there. So yeah, I definitely think the faster power and maybe a little bit higher dots per inch. And then you get, it don't look burnt in there, but it's still pretty dark. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased about that come out. And I've got to try a project with that one and I'll update you soon.